There are all kinds of, quote, secret remedies from the Far East that are supposedly able to prevent you from getting colds and flus as often, so avoiding viral infections or just not catching them as often when they're going around. And in addition, they can help improve your immune system functioning overall. So you are someone who feels less run down, you're more energized, as well as having more resilience against catching things going around in general. Now in this video, I wanna talk about three famous traditional herbal formulas from traditional Chinese medicine that I use clinically every single day in my practice for those of you with low immunity, susceptibility to catching colds and flus, as well as people who just in general are feeling run down, fatigued, and feeling a little bit sickly, like they might catch something that goes around. And you wanna be careful that you don't get that. Hey guys, I'm Dr. Alex Hine, board licensed acupuncturist and doctor of traditional Chinese medicine and author of the health book, Master of the Day. So let's jump in. Now, first and foremost, let's talk about the power of these formulas for immunity, because what is very impressive about them is that yes, traditional medical wisdom has said that these formulas can be utilized for people who have a susceptibility to catching colds and flus. But in general, these formulas also fall into the category of people who have a quote, weak constitution. They've either been sickly since birth, they've gone through long periods of life stress, divorce, illness, work stress, and afterwards they've become sickly, which is something I I see clinically quite a lot and I've experienced myself, or just in general, you're currently run down. You have a lot on your plate and you know this is kind of the time when you're about to get sick. And so you wanna make sure you don't get sick this cold and flu season. There's one formula in particular I use very often in my practice. And I had one particular patient, we'll call her Kelly, who came to me because she said, you know, Dr. Hine, every single time it's cold and flu season, my cute little kids that are seven and eight, the second they get the sniffles, my husband gets sick. And then the second he gets sick, I get sick. And most of the time, she's the first person to get sick. So she said to me, you know, is there anything that you can do that can prevent me from being someone who gets sick at all when my whole family gets sick? Something I can take prophylactically. So what she said was, is there something you can do? Now I put together a formula for her. In particular, it was the base of a formula called Xiao Jin Zhong Tang, minor build the middle decoction. Now, the base of this formula is comprised of five super immune boosting herbs. It's a very, very famous combination. I had her take it for one month before she went into peak cold and flu season. So this was the period of time where her kids were typically coming home with the sniffles. So right around maybe September, October, that range. So I had her take it for the month before. She came back to me December 1st and she said to me, you know, I've actually not gotten sick for the first time since I've had children. Now for her, that was about eight years. So utilizing these traditional formulas has a really measured and marked improvement on immunity. And the anecdotal case studies I see in my practice really back up the traditional medical wisdom through this profession that these really can prevent colds and flus in people who are susceptible. Now, a lot of this also falls into the category of people who have what we call weak constitutions. If you are someone who's always historically been prone to catching colds and flus or prone to getting run down, you have a low tolerance for stress and a low tolerance for adversity in general, in other words, you don't have quite as much reserves as the average person, these same formulas will often treat that same pattern, the fatigue, the low immunity, these formulas will treat one and the same. For people who have weak constitutions, as we say, what is inevitably true is that they have a genetically lower battery charge. And that battery charge is the same as your defense against catching viruses, for example. Now, utilizing traditional Chinese medicine formulas for my patients is only one of maybe half a dozen methods I recommend for basically improving immunity. Now, I've put together a free guide. It's the first link below this video which is four daily healing rituals that you can use that can potentially add years to your life with traditional Chinese medicine. So you can check it out right below this video, or you can also go to dralexheim.com forward slash free to download that as well. Now let's get into point number two, which is understanding your resources or yang qi, as we say in traditional Chinese medicine. You know, your yang qi, you could think of as your battery charge of vitality. And vitality is not a scientific term, right? Vitality is an observational concept because everyone knows what someone who is very, very alive and healthy looks like generally. And everyone knows what someone with very, very poor health looks like, right? If you've ever seen someone at the end of their life, that ash and gray pale look, the hollowness in the eyes or that 10,000 yard stare, the way that they respond slowly, they hear you slowly, the brain moves slowly, the memory's poor, they're hunched over. Humans instinctively can recognize what good health looks like and what poor health looks like, right? And the most quintessential example is looking at a child versus looking at an elderly person because this is what vitality looks like. An elderly person a year before they die is not going to look like a vital person typically. And a child who's full of life, those bright shining eyes, energetic, they wanna run around 
around all day, they always want to play, is the opposite of the elderly person who doesn't want to move or everything hurts. In general, there are ways not only of recharging your batteries, rebuilding your yang qi reserves that don't involve living a healthy lifestyle. Because in a perfect world, if you eat healthy and you exercise and you're sleeping enough, you're being careful with stress, you're living a socially connected life, you're going to be a healthy person. But we all come into this world with a varying degrees of that battery charge and those are our genetics. So some people come into the world predisposed to migraines or to GI issues and nothing of their own actions cause that. And it's very important to remember that your genetics are one factor in your health. But when we talk about susceptibility to low immunity or catching things that go around, we primarily are talking about two organ networks in Chinese medicine. The first is what we call the Taiyin organ network, right? What's considered the lung and the spleen. And the second is the Xiaoyin organ network, which is the heart and the kidney. Now, how are these relevant? So when we talk about the Taiyin organ network, traditionally in Chinese medicine for thousands of years, it was recognized that people with low immunity typically have what we call spleen qi deficiency. These are people prone to low appetite, loose stools, fatigue, sometimes more anemic looking, kind of paler, thinner, weaker digestion, more anxious, more sensitive constitution. These people typically have weak digestive function on top of that. And so we say, for example, the spleen generates the blood. And so a lot of the formulas we actually use to improve the digestive function fall into the traditional category of immunomodulators. Like for example, lots of patients that are going through chemotherapy in China will get certain formulas like Liu Junzitang, six gentlemen decoction, to actually improve blood values. Pretty amazing how it can actually do that. But in a Chinese Chinese medicine point of view, this is not like an immune formula. This is a formula primarily for digestive problems. But certain herbs in there, renshen, ginseng, baiju, attractyloids, some of these other herbs have a potent effect on the immune system as well. Now, in addition, lots of people that have this lung spleen deficiency pattern are prone to issues with mucous membranes, the gut mucosa, the vaginal milieu. So there's a very close link between the two. On top of that, we say the second organ pair is the Xiaoyin, heart and kidney organ pair. Now, what does this have to do with getting colds and flus? Well, we say that the kidney is sort of the primal battery charge of life. One part, your genetic material, your genetically strong or weak constitution, and also everything you've done in your life to strengthen it or weaken it. So if you're trying to cash checks that you don't have money for, you're going to tax the battery. Kidneys are like the battery charge and you can drain that through the way you live. The CEO is prematurely gray by 36. The caretaker who exhausts their resources trying to care for their aging mother or father. The single mom who has three kids and has to work three jobs. She's for sure burning the candle at both ends. Now that may be what she has to do for now, but there is a price to pay for that. So if you deplete the overall battery charge, you will be weaker overall. Now for a lot of these people in that moment, that is most where they need to be seeing a practitioner that can help them maintain their resources. Now I work with a limited number of new patients every single month in my clinic in Los Angeles or virtually via telemedicine. So if you guys want to have more info on working with me personally one-to-one, -one. there's info to contact or call my clinic right below this video. And also you can just go to dralexheim.com forward slash clinic as well if you want to chat. Now let's talk about a couple of those famous formulas and what they are. Now the first formula is called Guijitang or cinnamon twig decoction. Now Guijitang has traditionally been used for low immunity. You know, people who are very weakly overall, they're typically very sensitive, prone to palpitations, don't like stimulation, whether it's noise or whether it's physical work and being around people. And in addition, they often have weak digestive function. So that tends to be something they complain about quite a lot. The second formula is called Huangqi Jianzhongtang, Huangqi build the middle decoction. So Huangqi is the herb astragalus, which has so many documented benefits. Not only has it been shown to have anti-cancer activity, even right up until the mainstream medical establishments acknowledge that, the base formula is one of the best for people and for children that are sickly or very commonly prone to colds and flus. Check out this one research paper on astragalus itself. It's called Peng Qi, a promising edible immunomodulatory herbal medicine. And in the paper, the researchers said that it can be used as a potential therapeutic intervention for immune-related diseases through regulating the immune organs, mucosal immune, and the immune system, both innate immunity and acquired immunity. And finally, there's another famous formula called Yuping Feng San, and it does also have astragalus Huangqi in it, by matter of fact. This one has been quite famous. It's called Jade Windscreen, or Jade Screen, it's sometimes translated as. And this is really a more recent modern formula that also has many herbs that are known to help people with low immunity, susceptibility to colds and flus, etc. So what TCM practitioners will often do is, for the three months, the season 
even leading up to cold and flu season, for someone with low immunity, we'll have them take a low to moderate dosage of one of these formulas, barring that there's no contraindication. And then that person will not only feel better overall, digestion will be better, energy will be better, less fatigue, but secondarily, the immune function is much better as well. And if we nail it, they find themselves not getting sick when everyone around them is getting sick. So while I cannot legally say that these formulas can prevent you from getting sick, I do see that very often they do. Now, herbal formulas are one of the really cool things we talk about within my new program, Introduction to Healing with Traditional Chinese Medicine. This is a brand new online course that I've launched. There's a link right below the video if you wanna just read about it. But basically, instead of me filling this video with a whole bunch of random sponsors, herb companies, supplement companies, stuff that I don't believe in, and frankly, I don't think really works, I'd rather create online programs that I know will help you create lasting change and learn how to heal yourself. So if you guys want, this is a brand new program I just launched, very exciting, and you can check it out right below this video. And then, I actually have a very interesting other video on immunity and how we can boost it with traditional Chinese medicine right over here.